We, we, we see it in front of us. We see an image of who we want to be, right? And we think, God, I'd love to be like that. I'd love to be like that guy over there. Or I want to do that thing because once I do that thing, it's going to make me happy. Or once I do that thing, then I'm going to finally have accomplished something. A lot of times that whole, we miss the journey along the way because sometimes that journey is just way, way, way too difficult. Sometimes we can't even, we can never really get there. A lot of times the path that's really laid out for us, what we really, really want is something that we don't even know right now. And so in our desire, our striving to get, to be the guy, right? To be the guy from, from the movie or be the guy from that we read about or like the, uh, the optimal person, right? To try to optimize ourselves. We forget that that optimal thing, that's just an image projected into the future. Or what we really want is simply to feel where we are now and start moving in that direction. So if we have the image of this optimal person way down the road, and we start moving in, those, in that direction slowly, day by day by day, that image of who we want to be is going to change all the time. It's always changing. It's in a constant state of change. Where we are right now, life itself is in a constant state of change. So the point that I emphasize is that we spend all of this time trying to fit round holes, round pegs, sorry, into square holes, and square pegs into round holes where if we just saw what was in front of us and we put the square peg into the square hole and the round peg into the round hole, things would be a lot easier. Things would get done with a lot less effort, with a lot less striving to uh, try to be something. Because when all that striving to try to be something, we're letting go of so much energy. And all this striving to try to be confident, what we're doing is we're in, we're it, that act in itself is, uh, is taking away from the very confidence that we already have right now. Right? So it's the striving to try to get somewhere is really defeating the purpose of what we're trying to accomplish. And so there's a time to take the square peg that you have and to look at it and say, you know what, I don't like this square peg. I want to fit this square peg into the round hole, so I'm going to sand off all the corners. I can make it, make it round. And uh, then you plop it in. You, you, ha you have this round peg that you've, just, you've worked on so hard, right? And you plop it into the hole, into this round hole that you have, and you look at it, and a lot of times that image there. You see that peg right, in, right fits into the hole, but it doesn't really fit perfectly. It's a little bit off. It's a little funky. What that is, what that image is, that representation, is us going against our inner nature. That's us going against the flow of things, going against the current, the, 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 the course of nature unfolding. So realize that there's a time to take your peg, whatever shape it is, and to sand it down and to polish it and to make it look good and to make it fit into the, pe and make it fit into the hole. But there's also a time to just let things be. There's also a time to take the peg that you have and look around you and see where that peg fits, what hole that fits into. And sometimes the peg doesn't even fit the hole. And sometimes that hole looks just fine, just the way it is. But we miss the beauty of the emptiness of the hole and we try to fit it, we try to plug it in with stuff. The message really is, there's a time to roll up your sleeves and there's a time to get down to work and there's a time to really hit the pavement and really grind and really make things happen. But there's also a time to stand back and appreciate the way things are right now. And these things come in currents. These things come up and they, and they go down. They come up and they go down. They come up and they go down. Because for every uh, instance that we have to work hard, there's also an instance, there's also a, 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 a counter flow, if you want to call it that, where we don't have to work at all. And we all know this to be true. There's times when working really hard really gets things done. And there's times when just standing back and appreciating what's in front of us, that gets things done. Things get done without us having to do it. Right? Kind of like in this video, you can sit here, or me talking to you, you can sit here and you can, you can listen to me like, okay, wait, I'm, I'm trying to get the message, I'm trying to get the message. And you listen, you say, okay, am I getting it? Am I getting it? And seeing all that striving to try to get the message, what you really have to do is just stand back. And you realize that the sound comes to you. Nothing you have to do. It's already coming to you. So there's a time for work, and there's a time for relaxation. There's a time for rest. And if we don't appreciate the rest, if we don't appreciate the reflection, looking at what's at hand, we miss the beauty that's, in front, that's unfolding in every moment. Where we're so set on how to get to the next step that once we actually get there, it's fun for like five seconds. And then suddenly our minds go, oh, 